homecoming festivities. We want to remind the family that after all the homecoming work is on the floor, we will have an opportunity to come down to take pictures. So please just remain in your area and your seats till we get everyone out on the floor. Representing the freshman class today are Mariah Ryan and Luke Briggs. Mariah is the daughter of Lindsay and Tyler Ryan. She and her family to Christian Fellowship Church. Mariah enjoys spending time with her family and friends as a member of the Bible Club. She lives the way these two degrees are favorite scripture. When you do things, do not let selfishness be your God. Instead, be humble and give more honor to others than to yourself. Mariah hopes to go into foreign missions in the future has a desire to follow God's lead into her future. Luke is the son of Brian Christian Briggs. He and his family attend Macedonia Baptist Church. Luke enjoys playing basketball and spending time with his friends. He is a member of the German Club, the Bible Club, and the basketball team. Luke names Luke as 413 as his favorite scripture, for I can do all things to Christ which strengthens me. When asked about his goals for the future, Luke said to succeed in everything I do to follow God's plan for my life. Welcome Mariah Ryan and Luke Briggs. <laughs> also representing the freshman class are Carly Vaughn and Warren Parker. Carly is the daughter of Scott and Wanda Vaughn. She and her family to Carter at this church. Carly's hobbies include watching Netflix, playing volleyball, basketball, and tennis. Carly acknowledges that being the CFS helped her come to the cross. Her favorite scripture can be found in John 3, 1, 11. Beloved, do not imitate evil, but imitate good. Whoever does good is from God, and whoever does evil has not seen God. After high school, Carly plans to attend college at Western Kentucky University, hopes to go to Australia in the future. Warren is the son of Bobby and Tara Parker, and he and his family attended Twin Lakes at his church. Warren is a member of the German Club, the basketball team, and enjoys basketball. Baseball, riding dirt bikes. More favorite scripture is found in Hebrews 13 5. Keep your life free from love and money. Be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never keep you nor forsake you. When asked to share a life, Bill Parker said he get a hundred on at least one of his tests in the future. We plan to get in college or serve in the military. They love the Carly Bond and Warren Parker. Representing the sophomore class are Carly Darrington and Andrew Allen. And Carly's daughter, Tony and Dana Darrington, she and her family to Christian Fellowship Church. Carly enjoys playing volleyball, reading, hanging out with friends and family. She's a member of the Bible Club, volleyball team, the History Club, and the Bible Club. Her favorite verse can be found in 2 Corinthians 12, 8, and 9. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all of my life and not my weakness of the Christ power. When asked to name one of her goals, she said this, my largest goal in life is to start an organization employed by highly educated traveling doctors who specialize in the reconstruction of clevers and pallets and their children. I want to help these kids and gain back their smiles. Additionally, she plans to pursue a medical degree. Andrew's the son of Brandon and Vicki Allen. He and his family to the Sanctuary Church of God and here in Georgia playing sports and music. Member of the basketball team, the cross country team, the baseball team. His favorite scripture is found in Philippians 4.13. I can do all things to him who gives me strength. When asked to share a life ago, he said that the coach impacted the lives of young people in St. Louis would be the next LeBron James. They both were Carly Darrington and Andrew Allen. <laughs> also, when he's in the sophomore class, Brexit Edwards, Brexit Fleming, Brexit's daughter, Jason. Grayson enjoys riding horses, playing volleyball. She's a member of the Bible Club and the volleyball team. The favorite scripture can be found in Proverbs 21 and 31. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, and the victory belongs to the Lord. One of her life goals is to show the love of God to others around her, plans to get college and pursue a career in animal sciences. Brent is the son of Andy Fleming and Lord Fleming. He attends Lola Pentecostal Church with his family. Brent is a member of the History Club and enjoys math, history, aviation. Joshua 1 9 in his favorite scripture. Have not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Pray to share that the one go he has for his future is to 
Todd is only age 55. He planned to return a degree in engineering after graduation. They both the Rex Etheridge and Brent Fleming. The same junior class are Hannah Kittle and Sam Flowers. Hannah is the daughter of Joe and Jennifer Kittle. Her and her family attend First Street Baptist Church. Hannah enjoys spending time with her friends traveling and watching Netflix. She's a cheerleader for Secretary Dak and a member of the Bible Club. Her favorite scripture is found in 2 Timothy 1 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. When asked to share one life ago, she said, If I survive high school, I'd like to get married. Have kids after graduation. Hannah plans to attend Campbell School at the University and study social work. Sam is the son of Bobby and Cheryl Byers. He and his family attend Macedonia Baptist Church. Samuel is a member of the basketball team who goes way to the basketball and reenacted in his youth group. His favorite scripture can be found in Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. Large hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Sanders plans for the future to work in business manager and to live his life for Christ and let Christ lead him where he needs to go. Make welcome Matt Kiko and Sam Bowers. <laughs> also representing the junior class are Allison Silverman and Boaz. Allison's daughter, Isaac and Jamie Silverman, she and her family to Christian Fellowship Church. She enjoys writing, reading, hanging with friends, and watching TV. She's member of the volleyball team and the archery team, the Marshall County Sharpshooters, and the Civil Air Patrol. Her favorite verse is found in 1 Corinthians 13 13. And now these three things remain faith, hope, and love. The greatest of the Jews is love. Allison has set a goal for the future of traveling the world and experiencing every type of food. After graduation, she plans to go to college, travel, and find a job that's enjoyable and pays well. Boaz Grant is the son of the old Susan. He and his family attend Hope Park of Church. Boaz's interests include uh, black holes, wormholes, and donuts. He is a member of the track team, cross country team, tennis team. He's also in the deck club, beta club, the bottle club, and history club. Boaz is this is one way CFS has positively influenced his life. Without CFS, I would not be here. Boaz says that his life goes from Joe the Moon and moved to Alaska and lived forever. Ladies and gentlemen, Allison Supermail and Boaz Rowe. Representing the senior class is Warrior Workman and Ethan Bailey. Warrior is the granddaughter of Lloyd and Linda the Hill. They attend church at Smithland Baptist Church. Morgan enjoys singing, cooking, and hanging out with friends. She's a cheerleader, member of the Archie team, and for the Bible worship team. Her favorite scripture is found in Romans 8 28. And we know that God thinks God works for good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Morgan plans for the future, including getting married, starting a beautiful family, home graduation. She plans to attend college to become an ultrasound technician and continue her relationship with Christ. Ethan is the son of Timothy and Jim Beakley. He and his family attends church to be through Baptist Church. Ethan's a member of the Bible Club, basketball team, baseball team. His interests include meetings. His favorite scripture is Colossians 3 14. And over all these things, virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Upon graduation, you see that as Ethan plans to further his education in college, introduced to you Morgan Workman and Ethan Beakley. Our next senior class representatives are Allie and Red. Allie and Red and Nathaniel Hall. Allie is the daughter of Rob and Missy Lorette and attends Christian Fellowship Church. Allie's interest includes sleeping, hanging out with friends, traveling, playing guitar, and cheerleading. She's a member of the Bible Club, Beck Club, Beta Club, Bible Worship Team, and Cheerleader. Her favorite verse is Colossians 3 14. And of all these, but on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Allie said one of her life goals was to become fluent in Spanish. She plans to study law and become an adoption. The family is the son of John the Sandy Hunt, the Hunt family of Kings Church, and the family of God and Freedom. The family is a member of the Bible Club, and the Mascot CFS has positively affected his life. He said he has given me a close knit family of friends that I can trust with anything. When asked if you name one future go, the family said, to be successful in all I do, make a lot of money. More importantly, make a lot of money. 
He plans to take college after graduation to meet the KU University State, Allie Burrett, and Nathaniel Hummel. Our final senior class presidents are Lydia Severance and Juwan Shen. Lydia is the daughter of Martin and Kendra Severance and attends church in Memorial Baptist Church. Lydia enjoys singing, cooking, and hanging out with friends. She's a member of the cheerleading team and the Bible worship team. Also, the archery team. When asked to name her favorite scripture, she said Psalms 19 1. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies become the work of his hands. Her future goal is living in plans to first take a long nap, then attend the UKCTC College Program and raise a family someday. Juwan Shin is from South Korea and is hosted by Rachel and Ryan Yates. He and his family is in part of Baptist Church. Juwan enjoys playing video games, making videos, shopping at the mall. He's a member of the archery team, the tennis team, the Bible club, the deck club, and served as manager of the basketball team. His favorite verse can be found in Matthew 7, 1 and 2. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And the measure you use, it will be measured to you. When asked to name one of his life goals, Juan says to help others with his experiences, he plans to attend the first day of the University of Kentucky upon graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, Lydia Severance and Juan Shoot. <laughs> Returning to us from the class of 2018, our last year's homecoming Queen and Dean, Maggie Ward and Jesse Covey. <laughs> Maggie is 1675 on our KCPC and plans to transfer to Murray for a bachelor's. Studio Arts and Design with her teaching certification. Then we she earned her master's degree in visual arts. She hopes to become a professor of fine arts and specializes in photography and graphic design. Jesse is studying occupational safety and health at Murray State University. After graduation, Jesse hopes to become a safety engineer. He's involved in the Best Buddies organization in Hard Baptist College Ministry and serves as county counselor for the Kanka Christian Camps. And now for the 2019 Homecoming King and Queen. Lydia Severns and Jawan. Let's give them one more hand for our home. 